today, we'll see the incredible transformation process of the monarch butterfly, from a tiny egg to its emergence from the chrysalis, a fascinating process I had the privilege to experience. It was one of the most amazing moments of my life, and I'm thrilled to share every detail of this magnificent creature with you. It all began on day one, when I accidentally stumbled upon a tiny egg on a leaf. It was a special egg, the egg of a monarch butterfly, so small it wasn't even the size of a grain of rice. Two weeks later, the caterpillar that hatched and that I had been caring for already showed significant growth. I had placed leaves around the egg so that, once it hatched, it could feed, and from that moment on, I made sure to provide it with fresh food every day. With each passing day, its growth was undeniable, getting bigger and bigger right before my eyes. With its yellow, black and white stripes, it displayed a unique pattern that highlighted its beauty. Its tiny antennae, both on its head and tail, moved with curiosity, exploring its surroundings and tirelessly devouring the green leaves. In the wild, monarch butterfly caterpillars feed exclusively on the milkweed plant, scientifically known as Asclepius. This plant is poisonous to many other animals, but surprisingly, it doesn't harm them at all. On the contrary, it provides them with a natural defense against predators. But the plant is not without dangers for these creatures. Let me introduce you to the white crab spider, Miss Eumena vadia. It's renowned for its incredible ability to blend in with white or yellow flowers, such as daisies, chamomile, and even milkweed, as it patiently waits for its prey to make the mistake of coming too close. With its perfect camouflage, this spider ambushes unsuspecting butterflies and caterpillars from flowers. Meanwhile, my caterpillar kept eating and growing. Each day, it seemed bigger and more voracious, devouring leaf after leaf with an energy that never seemed to run out. Throughout its life, a monarch butterfly caterpillar can consume up to 200 times its own weight in leaves an astonishing fact that highlights its insatiable appetite in preparation for its incredible metamorphosis. It can grow up to two inches long, increasing its size more than 2,000 times from birth, when it's just a tiny two millimeters. The caterpillar enjoyed its daily ration of fresh leaves. But there was a problem. Something hidden in the leaves caused them to spoil too quickly. The plague of the greatest predator of this plant, even more voracious than the caterpillar, was the aphid. These tiny creatures multiply at an astonishing speed, infesting entire plants in the blink of an eye. The yellow aphid, one of the most common enemies of the milkweed plant, stands out with its bright color that almost seems decorative, but its presence can be devastating. These tiny creatures work together, feeding tirelessly, and can invade leaves and stems in just a matter of days. I even managed to capture an entire family of aphids in action with my camera. So, I found a solution to this problem. It only took three specimens of the aphid's greatest predator to tip the balance in my favor and give me back control of the infestation. I knew that ladybugs fed on aphids, but what truly impressed me was their voracity they devoured them one after another, without stopping, as if they were insatiable. The aphids desperately tried to escape, slipping between the leaves and hiding in the tiniest crevices of the plant. But there was no escape from the ladybugs, which, like tireless hunters, pursued them with lethal precision. They trembled at the shadow of their predator, and every attempt to hide only delayed the inevitable. With the aphids out of the way, my caterpillar fully indulged in its feast. Leaf after leaf vanished under its relentless appetite, with no rest or apparent limit. It was as if nothing in the world could stop its insatiable desire to grow bigger and bigger, preparing for the next great chapter of its transformation.
Then, on day 24, since I found the egg, I was startled to discover the caterpillar in a strange position, hanging upside down in a J shape. I had never seen it like that before and didn't know what was happening. As I paid closer attention, I realized that something extraordinary was happening. The caterpillar, motionless in its inverted position, seemed to be in perfect harmony with its surroundings, as if the entire universe had paused for this moment. Its decisive moment had arrived, the one that would mark the beginning of a transformation that would change its existence forever. This must be an incredibly tough and challenging process for such a tiny creature. Every fiber of its small body seemed to be working on something monumental, something that required all its energy and focus. I understood it needed peace, so I left it undisturbed throughout the night, making sure to wake up early the next day to witness the climactic moment. The big day had arrived day 25. All the care, patience, and waiting had led to this unique moment. The caterpillar was ready to take the final step in its incredible transformation, and I was there, eager to witness it. Inside, its entire body is undergoing dramatic changes. Its organs and tissues are reorganizing to make way for a new form. If you look closely, you can even notice how its skin becomes slightly translucent, revealing the first signs of the chrysalis that is about to form. And then, all of a sudden, it happened. Once it managed to shed its old skin, it began making strange rhythmic movements. That's when I realized that the caterpillar, now transformed into a chrysalis, was trying to remove the last piece of skin still hanging from the top as if it were cleaning away the final remnants of its former self. In the end, it succeeded. The next day, the chrysalis had changed, becoming more opaque and firm, while the caterpillar, isolated, underwent a solitary transformation. Days passed and the chrysalis looked magnificent, with its green color adorned with golden touches, shining with elegance. It even seemed to have a golden crown, like a butterfly queen about to emerge. A week later, the chrysalis changed radically in color. Suddenly, the butterfly could almost be seen through its casing, a clear sign that everything was going well, and the transformation was reaching its final stage. In this final phase, the chrysalis appeared almost transparent. The texture, once firm and opaque, now became softer and more delicate, as if the chrysalis were about to break open. Tiny movements could even be seen inside it. And then, it happened. The most awaited day had arrived, day 35. The air seemed charged with energy, as if the entire universe were holding its breath. Inside the chrysalis, a new creature, transformed and ready to face the world, was about to emerge. Every second felt like an eternity. The butterfly emerged slowly, like a dream waking up from its long slumber. Only its head timidly peeked out of the chrysalis, cautiously exploring the air for the first time. It was a sublime moment. Little by little, it began to make its way toward the light. Monarch butterflies, 
Known for their epic migration, travel thousands of miles each year, crossing vast landscapes in search of warmer climates. However, not all of them are nomadic. In some places, these wonders of nature remain permanent throughout the year, adapting to their surroundings and living in harmony with the seasons. Now, dressed in her elegant flamenco gown, she shyly spread her wings, as if learning to dance to a melody only she could hear. Despite her undeniable beauty, her wings still seemed fragile and deformed, folded upon themselves, waiting for the right moment to stretch out and reveal their full splendor. Her colors glowed with a soft intensity, as if they were strokes of sunlight on a delicate canvas, and every movement of her wings was a promise of what was to come. It has a specialized mouth part known as a proboscis, a long coiled structure it uses to feed on the nectar of flowers. This organ, almost like a delicate straw, unfurls with precision to reach the deep nectar of the flowers. It was incredible to see how, despite all the energy spent in this extreme process of transformation, the butterfly still had enough strength to hold on with determination, hanging upside down from what was now its old shell. Beyond this observation experiment, it was a creature destined to be free. A creature like that couldn't be in captivity. Its wings, so delicate and expansive, embodied the very essence of freedom. It was its nature, its right, to fly wherever it desired. So, I made the decision to take it home. It needed the wind and air to finish drying its wings, thus preparing to take its first flight. <laughs> 